My hair looks flat no matter what I do. Like, I don't even understand. They're wearing a blazer. I think I look cute, and then I look at the video afterward, and I have what? What did we say last time? The hater face. Hey guys, it's Pacey and we're back. Yay! Um, so hopefully you were excited after the intro video. I know some of you were because I saw some comments. I'm very excited. Uh, so we are here today as promised with our unique vintage haul. So again, haul, uh, it's three items. So not exactly a haul. Um, but yeah, so we'll be doing that and we'll be doing the try on in my dining room. So you're going to see all the background stuff. Obviously, from a different angle, it, it's going to be a hot mess because it's the distance that I have to be from the camera for you to be able to see most things. You're going to see a lot of my dining room, so have fun with that. Hopefully, it's not too crazy and cluttered, but, you know, we're working on some stuff. So if I can manage to, like, figure it out and do it somewhere else, we'll do that. And I'm sorry, I literally just I have Christmas lights on and I didn't realize that they have like whatever weird setting and they just started going spazzy and why why does this happen why do my lights go fucking weird all right i had technical difficulties um i'm having a lot of technical difficulties right now and the birds flying around crazy um so yeah anyway so this is our unique vintage haul so hi unique vintage you can't really tell because the thing is taped down and the other side has my address again you taped over the thing so sorry for the loud bag noises. I'm going to take this stuff. I should have unpacked it a little. Sorry! This is not ASMR time. Look, I made potato face. Hi. That's just going to be a thing, isn't it? Okay, so <laughs> I'm really bad at this and I need to edit a lot. Anyway, we're doing our unique vintage haul. That's the whole point we're here. So again, it's not a big haul. It's only three items, but I figured I'd share it with you. And then, like I said, maybe like next week or something, we'll do the mod cloth haul that I got. That was a bit more items. It was basically two orders. Um, but I've already taken everything out of the packaging and everything, but I haven't worn anything yet, so that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, so first things first. Um, I got the, well, actually, okay, this is the orange and black stripe high-waisted pencil skirt. I got this because, hello, it's Halloween and helmet, so... Here it is in the package. Hi. See it? See it? I can't see if you can see it, so hopefully it looked okay, because, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so, and I got this. This is in a 2X, I think? Yeah, because they usually, yeah. It's funny, they call it red. It's orange and black. Not red, but. Um, but yeah, so it's, you know, kind of a, it's kind of a slinky material. I don't know. Hopefully it's not see-through. I mean, I can kind of see the camera through it, but um, not that bad. Uh, got a zipper in the back. I Okay, like, if I'm not doing this right and there's other things about this you want to know, let me know, because I'm just doing the best I can, because it's new. I usually, like, look at things myself, but, um, and I think about them. It is, it's weird, because, like, my shirt is, like, a very slinky, it's not, like, a bathing suit material, but you know that's where it's that kind of, it's close to it, but it's a little satinier and kind of shiny. I don't know if you can tell. You might be able to kind of tell. But it's it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Not bad. You can notice it on the black stripes the most. But, I mean, I like it. I honestly, I think I was expecting it to just be, like, standard cotton. So the fact that it's actually kind of like a nice, more satiny kind of material. It's not satin material, but it's got that satin finish kind of on it. Um... I don't think they tell you what it's made of. I don't know. I really don't. Might be at the bottom. But anyway, hopefully that works. I actually bought this because I had, and I don't think it's actually going to go. I bought a shirt from Bod Cloth that is actually like got bats and like a moon and like everything, but it's more of a sweater, like a short sleeve sweater material. So like that with this might not look that great, but we'll see. But anyway, this is going to be kind of real fun for the first time, like doing all this first and then doing the try on and then editing it together or opening them all first and then doing try on and then doing my thoughts after the fact. 
Hopefully everything fits. I don't know. Um, but yes, so then the next item is the orange and black cat short sleeve jacquard knit sweater top. This one's got really loud plastic, so. Hold on. Trying to find the edge to open it so I can do this fast, because this is going to be loud. Shh. Okay. Um, this is super cute, and I think they have this all the time. Um, I actually love this. I'm not wearing this with the skirt, but uh, let's see, can you see? Isn't it cute? It's perfect for Halloween. Actually, this is only in a large, so this is, might not actually fit. It's going to be tight. Um, see, I have a tendency... You should probably know this now. If I'm unsure of sizing or I'm like, eh, or the reviews are like whatever, I tend to size down because, well, one, it's wishful thinking. Like, I'm going to slim down. I've been telling myself that for like 700 years. I've managed a little bit this year, but so I'm on a good track, but I've just always been, I'd rather size down than size up because I'd rather things be a little bit slimmer fitting. I like my things slimmer fitting um, than baggy. And it's kind of difficult nowadays, too, because a lot of things are made baggier fitting. So um, I have shirts that range from mediums to two X's because it just depends on the brand, the style, and what. So it's really confusing. Um, but I got this one in a large because, you know, I think people said it ran a little big, but I don't know. I do have other sweaters that are kind of like this material that are larges that should be fine, but we'll see what happens. If it's really got awfully tight and I look like a stuffed sausage, you won't be seeing that try on and I'll just tell you that I look like a stuffed sausage or just make the assumption. So I'm just saying, I'll, I'll, I'll probably tell you, I'll try that on first. So there you go. Um, but yeah, I like actually the little back detail. So you can see that it's just like the little eyelet clasp thing there that holds it, but that's like super cute. And it's got like a little bit of puffies on the sleeves, decorative stuff. And it is. It's a very lightweight knit um, sweater top. It's going to be like, the cat is going to be busting on my boobs, but I dropped my pack and slip. Pardon me. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a little bit busty. But then again, I'm probably not going to be wearing that for a couple of weeks anyway, because it's supposed to be for October. So I got time. I just won't eat for like a month. <laughs> so, anyway, and the last item is the Voodoo Vixen Black Knit Bow Tie Long Sleeve Top. Now, I bought this because it was advertised, it was cute, and I was, like, looking for something. I'm sorry, this is, like, it's got the crinkly stuff in there. Um, It was advertised, they had it with, and I, okay, I don't normally do this. When I'm shopping for clothes, I don't normally be like, oh, I like this skirt, and I'll buy the top that they paired with it. But I was kind of, like, looking for, I think, I think it was, looking for something to round it out because I don't know if you got a discount. Um, I got all this stuff on discount. I don't know how much everything was because they don't tell you on the packing slip. That's an important thing to note. I don't know. Um, I will try to find the links for these things and put them down below for you. Um, you know, so you can find them because I did get these all now. And I know for a fact the cat shirt actually comes in a couple of other colors. I can't remember they are. I don't have my computer with me to tell you because I was like, oh, I have the packing slip to tell me what I bought. It doesn't tell me the price, and I didn't think of that till just now. So. I'm gonna I'm go get it, and I'm gonna look it up. This for you. So the skirt was forty two dollars. Um, I did get, have a discount for Labor Day, but they took that off the whole price. So this is just forty two dollar retail for the skirt. Um, and then if the cat top was. $32. So there you go. So I got those for you. Um, so now, yeah, so the Voodoo Vixen, I have to look at my computer screen because I now my thing fell on the floor. So. We're all over the place. I'm not good at this. We'll get better. Uh, this black knit top is was also $42. So, But I don't normally go through, like I said, and be like, ooh, they paired this skirt and this top together. I'm going to buy it. I pick out the own stuff that I like. But I was looking for something. I don't know why. But I was like, sure, why not? I'll throw it in there. It's cute. Um, so it's just like a stretchy top. It looks kind of big, so I hopefully it's not. Because I think this is actually a 2X2, and I'm not sure. Yeah, normally I wouldn't buy my shirts in 2X. Um, but it's hard to see. But this is supposed to, like, you're supposed to tie that on the side, so it would have, like, a bow over here. But we're going to have to... Uh, 
trying to, I'm just trying to look and see if you can see it. So, uh, yeah, so I can't quite, we'll have to tie it when we get it on. But it's just a normal, it's actually very thick. It's a nice thick fabric, It's but it, and it is stretchy. It's not quite like normal, like cotton material, but it's not the normal, I just, I have no idea how to describe it. It's got that slicker kind of feel like the bathing suit fabric, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. You don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, it's nice thick, but it's got a softer feel to it than like most cotton. It's got more of that, I don't want to say slick feel, but you know what I'm saying. Like sometimes that stuff that's more bathing suit material or it's got more of the rayon or whatever in it has that slipperier kind of feel it's like a cotton with that kind of finish on it um so it's nice so I got it to go with that skirt just in case it didn't go with anything else so we'll see how the top fits because I'm again I'm really surprised that I got a 2x um unless everyone said that it ran small I usually do go based on ratings and just my personal thought of no I, I know this size I know this brand or whatever um also measurement charts but I do find that sometimes measurement charts can be off because they have a generic one for a lot of things um I don't know if I've noticed with unique vintage but I know a lot of sites they'll just be like oh yeah these are generic things and you're like but that's not right for each item and it's more difficult because unique vintage um isn't just their specific brands they have other brands on there so it's going to be different for each brand that they're selling so I don't know but anyway Let's see, I guess, how these fit. And, you know, like I said, if the cat shirt is really too tight, I'm not going to show you because it's going to look ridiculous. So guess let's get on to that. This is going to be fun and kind of nerve wracking. So awesome. Face. That's not weird or anything. Welcome to my dining room. It has to be positioned. The camera's over this way. There's more space over there because... That's where the bird is, and nobody wants to see this, but elephant of the week. So uh, this is what I wore to work. I just figured I'd show you. And yes, my skirt does have balloon animals on it because that's just fun. So anyway, now we're going to get into trying on the stuff we got from Unique Vintage. Yay! Okay, so um, you know what? I'm going to try on the cat sweater first just to see if it fits, and if it doesn't, you won't see that because... I'm going to have to look at what it looks like in a mirror in the bathroom because I can't, I don't have a mirror. I don't have a full length mirror, okay? I'm a train wreck, so I I, I want to get one next month. So we'll see how that works out. But anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the shirt. It's kind of hard to see because of the distance, so I'll try to get closer, but then you won't be able to see my head. But the arms are, they're a little stretchy, so they're not too bad. I do have fat arms, so things can be snug. And the only thing for me that makes me a little bit uncomfortable is just, this comes here and I prefer my shirts to come just down a little bit lower just because of this area. But um, overall, I do like it. And a large is perfect. It's not too tight. It stretches enough. Uh, like I said, it's just the length. But if you're wearing this with like a high-waisted skirt, I actually have a like high-waisted kind of suspender skirt. It's going to be tucked underneath. And that's why I've started not caring too much about shirts that are shorter that kind of come just below like your belly button area. Um, or... I would wear like a cami or something underneath. So I'm just gonna come a little bit closer. <laughs> it's gonna be really hard. Um, but yeah, no, it's really cute. So, and it's not, it's not super see-through. I don't, well, okay, you can tell my bra's a little dark. So you probably have to wear like a tan bra underneath it or whatever, but uh, overall, yeah, no, I like this and I'm glad it fits. Cause I didn't, I wasn't sure if it was gonna, like be super tight or anything, but when I put it on, I'm like, the only thing is, is yeah, the arms are a little snug, but if you don't have arms that are like four times the size of a normal humans like I do, you'll probably be fine. Um, also, depending on the size that you get, like me, again, I like my clothes slimmer fitting. If I got like an extra large, they probably wouldn't have been as snug. Um, but again, it has nothing to do with the shirt. They do stretch, so it's not like the shirts that are so tight and you're like, there is no stretch to this. And if I try to like, you know, stretch it out a little, it's gonna like seams or bust. Like, it's actually not too bad. And then like, these are cute. Plus most of the time I wear cardigans over things anyway, because it's always like 20 below at work. So anyway, let's try on the other top and skirt. We'll do the combo. So we'll just put them all both together. So I'll be back with that. Hi, what you doing? You're so cute. You like, you wanna try clothes on? You wanna come try some fashion? No? Yeah, you refuse to wear hats too. 
All right, sorry if the angle's weird. I'm also sorry if this bit is really laggy because I just, I had to plug my phone in because my battery started to die. And now, I don't know, the last time I tried to record this, everything was weird. Hey, we do want to try clothes on. Anyway, so this is the whole outfit together. So the skirt's tight, my top is tight. I like my shit tight, so like, I'm happy like this. The top is also extremely warm. Like my air conditioning is probably not running right now, but like, holy shit, I'm like, I'm sweating. But also that light is freaking bright and I've been like running back and forth trying to get this thing to work. But anyway, so like, I like it because the skirt is literally all the way up to here. Um, the only thing is the waistband is a little bit tighter around than like my stomach is. My stomach has got a little bit more girth than the waistband. So when I was bending over to like pick up the shirt and everything, like it kind of rolls down, but It'll probably be fine. I necessarily, like, they styled this with, like, the shirt tucked under. I probably wouldn't do that just because, like, I'm not quite that comfortable in the skirt to, like, tuck the shirt in. But it works fine outside. Um, and the whole thing is going to show every little thing that you got. So I got rolls, okay? I got permanent muffin top. Like, these, these, these are just natural. I don't have to, you know, wear super tight pants to get muffin top. I just, well, if I make it, I have muffin top. It's just... That's the way my fat rolls. Literally, it's like, oh, it's just around the river bend. Pocahontas would be happy with these. Okay, because it's like fucking raging river over here. That was a weird analogy. Anyway, um, but it actually is a little more comfortable once I put it on. The waistband is a little snug in the dress, in the skirt, but I'm used to it. It doesn't bother me. Um, there is a little bit of stretch. So like the skirt is a little, ooh, hey, bad. The skirt's a little stretchy. Not too much, um, but you're going to get a little. And the shirt is a little stretchy as well. I'm actually surprised at how slim fitting this is um, just versus the cat sweater because the cat sweater is a large. This is a 2X and you just see that this feels like tighter than that. I don't know. Um, and I don't know if you can see the boat. I'm going to come kneel over here. Hey, what's up? How are you? I'm looking at the thing to make sure I'm in it. Say hi. Can I see camera? You say hi to that. Hi. Well, you're so cute. Um, yeah, so that's why you're supposed to tie the bow. Can you see the bow? I can't quite. This is really hard. Hi, welcome to my nostrils. Wow. Um, it's hard to see them, but yeah, it ties there. And okay, I did shit job at tying the bow, but you get the point. Anyway, so I didn't do like an outro to this thingy. So, uh, you know, but yeah, whole outfit. Uh, it gives me ass, which, okay, I have that naturally, but, uh, yeah, it's got a little slit up the back, and it's nice because it goes kind of below your knees. So if you wanted it longer, you could actually pull this down, say, to more like your belly button area, and the skirt would be longer, or it's meant to be like obviously high-waisted because like I said, the waistband is up here. But uh, yeah, no, I like this. And the shirt for being like a, well, sure, I'll get it. It kind of goes with the skirt. Works really well just in case the other sweater thing I have doesn't quite go with it, but knowing me, I'd probably make it work anyway because... I was wearing a skirt with balloon animals on it when we started this, but anyway, so I'm going to come back over here. So we didn't do like closing remarks or anything like that. So just basking my gloriousness of my dining room and okay, this is not, all right, that's a little better. I don't want to get too cold. You don't want to get that close. We're, we're close, just not that close. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with all three of the things that I purchased and they actually fit. Like I said, I tend to size down because I'm more, we can, that could be one of our spacing out with spacey chats where you can talk about, I don't want to call it dieting because not dieting, it's lifestyle changes, but like weight loss and all that bullshit that a hoops I've been jumping through for years. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of why I tend to size down on things because I'm just more hopeful. I'd rather size down and be like, I have to lose weight if I want to wear that. Um, as opposed to, well, I've got room to gain weight because that's never been a good thing for me. Because, look, you should love your body no matter what size you are, no matter what shape you are. Um, I don't have the typical form that most plus size people have. Like, most plus size girls have nice hourglass figures and they might have a little bit of a belly. I got so many rolls. I'm not even a figure eight. I'm like whatever extra roll comes with an eight. Because I got the one and the two and the three and it's... Like I said, it's like a raging river bend. Um, that's all I can think. And then I start singing Pocahontas and whatever. Um, so, you know, everybody's shape and size is different. But look, 
I don't have the perfect skinny figure. I don't have a nice flat stomach. I still wear tight ass shit because this is how I feel comfortable and confident in myself. So for me, I'd rather be wearing things that are slim fitting like this and to have some rolls and not look perfect and feel comfortable because it's my style, then, okay, well, you can't tell that I have rolls and I'm wearing baggy clothes because that doesn't make me feel good about myself. So that's what's important is that you feel good about yourself and what you're wearing. That's a whole other tangent we shouldn't really be talking about. That. But anyway, I'm happy with the unique vintage stuff. I love shopping there. I've bought plenty of stuff from them before. Um, so we'll be seeing them more again in the future. But anyway, so... That's Unique Vintage. I hope you guys had fun. I'll figure out the format of these and we'll be better at actually not sucking at this. And if the background's too much, I kind of want to tell you too bad because I don't really have a better place. The hallway to try to do it in is just sad. and makes me depressed. Like my hallway's fine for walking and it's not fine for dressing in. Because even here you can't see full body because I can't switch it and do vertical because it would look weird and you'd have black bars along the side so it would just defeat the purpose so you either have black bars on the video or you get to look at my awesome dining room are you enjoying this like now you can see my eat board you can still see reginald and we got neelix so we're two for two with all of our special guests anyway so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed that uh i will probably try to do a mod cloth haul for you in a week or so again that's stuff that i already purchased and i did already open it this i saved my bag and i didn't open it until like no one's recording here. Um, but I'd like to do the mod cloth one and kind of just show you all the stuff because that's a little bit more. So that'll take a little more time, especially with the way I ramble. Plus, I do have some stuff coming that I got from Etsy. Uh, that's going to be fun. I'm going to wait for all of that to come in so we can review everything together. When everything gets in here, because all those things are they're all coming from like Russia. Go figure. Uh, so when all of those come in, We'll do that kind of a haul. Um, I, that I might film over a couple of days just because I want to, as soon as I get each one, kind of open them just to make sure everything's good. Because, you know, they're coming from Etsy, so they're handmade things. I don't want it to be like, oh, I can wait a week to open Unique Vintage, you know. So one of them I ordered a little bit late. So we'll see that, and then we'll see Owl Crate when it gets here later on this month. So anyway, we got a bunch of things coming up, so that's good. I don't know what we're going to do after that, so we'll figure it out. But anyway, I will see you guys around. I hope you enjoyed this. I will leave the links below to these things if you'd like to see them um, or just check out what else Unique Vintage has. They are a little on the pricier side, unfortunately, um, but I, I do like clothing that's gonna last and I do like it to fit my style. So unfortunately that's what it is, but they usually have sales and stuff like that and discount codes. So you can always check out things when they're on sale. They have good sales sometimes. So check out the sale bins. I don't know. Anyway, I will see you guys. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry. Toodle. Now that's still weird. Anyway, bye. Bird. You're so cute. You're so cute. Can you say hi?